we're right here right now. Hello, I'm Raphael McMaster. We're here at Return to Harmony at Resin with Indivisible Arts and South Bay Magazine. And this idea, Return to Harmony, this is a plea, this is a siren, this is a song for balance. How do we get back to balance now? In Eastern and Ayurvedic and Chinese energy medicine, we've got these two different energies, right? My masculine and my feminine. Right? It's not male or female, it's just these two different energies that have different signatures to them. And the feminine is to receive and hold space and experience, right? You can feel that kind of energy, receive, experience, hold space. And the masculine is to do and create and make, right? And in theory, I don't know if it's supposed to be 50-50, but some sort of 60-40, 70-30 even. But if I really accurately and honestly look at what percentage of the time I'm in holding space, experiencing, receiving versus doing and creating, I am doing and creating like at least 90% of the time, at least. And this has actually been my New Year's resolution for three straight years. I was like 98 and two, and then I was like 95 and five. Now I'm like 89 and 11, because it's so hard, all the emails and texts and posts and life and stress and go to the grocery store, going to the grocery store, that's an action, right? Any act of acting, go to the store, do the errands, take the kids, da -da -da, ba -da -da. always doing. And not enough just being to the point where I like, sometimes I don't even know how to just be. Like I just sit for a second and then I compulsively feel like I have to get up and do something else, clean, whatever, put the socks away, always something where it almost gets uncomfortable being in being. And then I think about my headphones because I really love music. I love music and there's so much good music. And then on our phones, we have access to pretty much everything ever recorded on the phone. And I love listening to music and there's always new music, but then there's also podcasts I like that I listen to. And I love football, I'll catch up with sports. And if I think about the fact that most of the day, I'm either specifically doing something or talking to someone, holding a meeting, doing that way. And what time is left from that, I spend a huge chunk of that with my earbuds in, listening to something, learning, taking phone calls, whatever. Like what percentage of the day am I really sitting, not interacting with anyone and without headphones in? It's probably of the waking day, like, 2% or something. Here's the deal. When I'm only doing that, being by myself, no headphones, no one else around, no stimulus, not doing, 1% of the 2% of the time, it stops becoming second nature to me. It stops feeling like I, I, I do it and I feel uncomfortable because it's no longer second nature. So what is going to be the impact of us no longer feeling like it's second nature to be with ourselves and the actual quiet, small, still voice of my soul. It's hard to hear the small whisper of my soul in my heart with so much clamor and noise in my head. And I need to be able to be by myself and calm that down. So that's what this is, return to harmony. How do we get re back into balance? Because if I can't do it in my own life, just with my headphones, or how much I'm doing versus holding space, if that's not imbalanced, then what's that gonna reflect like in the world? And this is us who are even conscious about that decision. So this is my ask to you, to look at some place in your life where can you become a little more imbalanced? Where can you consciously make the choice to have the intention to become more in balance with this facet and begin to walk towards that? All right, this has been a night, it's been real, return to harmony. See you next time.